Any parent of a teenage girl will tell you their demands for privacy are constant. Tonight we take a look inside their digital world. How photos on Instagram can measure popularity, friendships, and self-worth. Reporter Lindsay Thee spoke to teens in the area in tonight's special report, The Language of Likes. How about if I uh, saute up some veggies? It's a typical school night for the Nelsons. Mom Cindy asks her daughter Julie about the day and homework. But there is another assignment the 14-year-old is always checking. Mostly like Twitter and Instagram, not really like Facebook. We're not really like into Facebook. Facebook's more for like the old people now. It can be scary and it can be intimidating with the social media world. It it's totally changed from when we were teenagers. Invitations and passing notes has been replaced with posts, likes, and tags as teenage girls are turning to Instagram for Insta acceptance. They feed off of it because it is immediate, um, it's gratifying, um, and it, it feeds all of those emotional needs for girls. Do you think there is a secret language or a secret code between you know, teenagers and specifically teenage girls when it comes to Instagram? Yes, yeah, definitely. We gathered teens from Council Bluffs, Omaha, Elkhorn, girls ages 12 to 15 to find out how and why Instagram isn't just for posting pictures. How many people in here have Instagram accounts? <laughs> how many people are on it every day? How many people yeah. are on it more than five times a day? More than 10 times a day? Mm. Oh. They told us the number of tags and likes a girl gets is a public sign of peer adoration. I really do like to be tagged in pictures by my friends, like if it's pictures of us or just a funny picture. Because there are all these guys saying you have to be this and that to be, you know, popular. So then all these teenage girls are just trying to put on makeup, all these filters just to be, you know, the guy's version of beautiful. Some people don't get like a certain amount of likes, they'll like delete the picture because they think it's like embarrassing. What do friends really think of them? Girls will hashtag posts with a TBH to be honest. And then they'll comment on one of your pictures like to be honest, like you're really pretty or you're really nice. It's passive aggressive, bullying at the worst. Girls won't tag a friend in a picture or find other ways to exclude her. If, like, someone's in a fight, they'll just, like, be rude to, like, crop that person out or, like, post another picture that doesn't include that person. Girls' posts center around who they want to be. Prettier and skinnier. Versus who they are. But the pressure of that perfect image might not match reality. A 2011 Girl Scout survey showed 74% of teen girls say they use Insta for a second life. It's kind of like leading a double life, like you could be friends with someone on Instagram and then in real life you're just like, oh, hi. So at a time when self-confidence is so key and users are getting younger and younger. It's everywhere. It's and everywhere. even my sister, some of her friends do it and she's in fourth grade. How can parents crack that online code? Teach girls how to express negative emotions in a positive way. Psychologist Kelly Fairbanks, a mom of a teen girl herself, says things like exercise are ways to channel positive self-worth in teens and tweens. Most important, she says, parents have to work at it, but girls will eventually stretch that muscle and realize that while it's not in an Insta, there's something better than online peer approval. In Omaha, Lindsay Thies, KMTV, Action 3 News. It is a different world out there. Dr. Fairbanks is hosting a forum about teen girls and their mental health called Strong for Life later this month. You can find that information with this story on our website, kmtv.com.